The shuttle is still empty. Let's quickly grab a seat. Ugh, I don't feel like going back to Vinton. The holidays were so awesome. Who wants to sit in a stuffy office again? At least it does not seem to be very full today. Maybe we will have a comfortable ride. Mm, not so sure about that. Check there. Is that who I think it is? I think so. How do you know that's a he? Death is always a guy. Always? I think so. But he's wearing a dress. Or is it more of a moo moo? Robe. It's a robe. Guys can wear robes. After a shower. Or if they are some kind of judge. Well, death is kind of like a judge. True. I see what you mean. A uh, justice of peace? A justice of rest in peace. Nice one. Thanks. You're welcome. So what's he doing here? He's got a client, I guess? One of us? No. He's probably on his way somewhere. Why is Death taking the shuttle to Vintok? His winged horse of Death didn't have the guts to go there. <laughs> uh, get it? Because it's a skeleton horse, no guts. Please don't explain the joke. It's not funny if you have to explain it. Jeez, I'll just let Mitch make all the jokes then. Thank you. You're welcome. Death taking the bus doesn't make any sense. Doesn't that take too long? Wouldn't death be in more of a hurry? Maybe not. Modern medicine is keeping people alive longer. Maybe he's not in a hurry anymore. Maybe he's on a tight budget like the rest of us. The bad economy is even affecting life and death. I like Mitch's theory better. Of course you do. Mitch has a point. People aren't dying as quick as they used to, or as often. Modern medicine can keep people alive for years beyond what would normally kill them. So death saves money and takes the combi. And he's being very environmentally aware too. Combis burn much less energy than planes and cars. Death is doing his part to help the earth. Wouldn't death like pollution? Not necessarily. Maybe he likes the natural order of things. Maybe he's doing what he can to help restore the balance that people offset through technological advancements. Well said. <sighs> Thank you. I wonder where death takes people. To the H-E double hockey sticks place down below. What if they're good? Heaven? Wouldn't that be an angel then? Assuming there is a heaven. I'd like to think there is. It's nicer that way. Thinking there is some place good we go if we lived a good life. And that bad people are punished for being bad. But who decides what is good and what is bad? God. What if you don't believe in God? That's okay. God still believes in you. I'd feel a whole lot better facing death if I knew for sure. Just the fact that we see death sitting over there gives me hope that there is something more beyond life. Wow. Who would have thought that seeing death would make you more hopeful? That's some serious optimism you got there, Mitch. I wonder if he would talk to us. I'd love to ask him about all this. Life after death, good versus evil. He doesn't look like much of a talker. And what if he speaks Latin or Ewok or something like that? Ewok? I'm just making a point that he might be from somewhere else. I'd go with Latin over Ewok. Or maybe he has a universal translator that helps him understand all languages. That would make sense. No, it doesn't. None of this does. Doesn't it strike you as weird that we've never seen death before? True. I've never seen him before. You don't think that means... What happened to Mr. Optimism? He jumped the bus. Do you think he could be here for us? All of us? Do you think the bus could be crashing or something? That's the only way I can see all of us dying. Should we warn the driver? We could get off at the next stop. Or maybe we should face death head on without fear. Hey! Hey! What happened? Are, are you okay? 
It's, it's like he couldn't breathe. Like the air around him is deadly. So much for talking to death. Are you okay, Mitch? <clears throat> What's the matter? Did he talk you to death? <laughs> death got your tongue? Not funny, Mel. Come on, my joke's that bad? Let's just say you bore me to death. Funny. Jealous? No. Remind me not to do that again. <clears throat> what did he do <clears throat> to you? Nothing directly, I don't think. It's like the air around him is deadly. Maybe death has got bad body odor or something. Care to go smell? No, that's okay. So what are we going to do? How far is the next stop? We could get off. Wait, what if we're already dead? We could test that theory in Yusakos. Let's get ready to get off. You all can get off. I'm staying. I have somewhere to be and I can't be late. What if death is here for you though? Then you won't make it anyway. If he's not here for us, then we waste our time by getting off. I think I'd rather gamble with being late than dead. Here's the next stop. I'm going. Wait until the kumbi stops, idiot. I'm not dead, am I? <sighs> Afraid not. Come on, Mitch, please. I can't miss work tomorrow. My customers are counting on me. Okay, Mitch, take care of yourself. I will. Oh!